Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Coffee with Cliff. My name is Cliff Duvenois, and these are the stories that chronicle my journey to get 1% better every day across the areas of mind, body, business, and relationships. Today's story is called Like a Fart in a Wind. It's January 17th, and I missed it. Now, according to a bunch of smart people, most New Year's resolutions are broken by January 12th, meaning that most people's commitment to improve themselves disappeared like a fart in the wind. It's been four years since I started my commitment, and it started the day that I stood on the scale and it read one person at a time, please. I knew I had to take action. So before someone could point at me and ask when the baby was due, I shredded 30 pounds. Now, one thing that I knew that was going to help me to keep my commitment was my environment. I always prime my environment for success. It's rare that I purchase cookies or chips. When I dine out, I always opt for the low-carb, high-protein meal. Onion rings or salad, I usually opt for salad. Now, four years later, my commitment to maintaining my weight continues, and everyone's happy with this. I know I certainly am. My friends are always commenting on how good I look. My doctor is ecstatic about this. There's only one person who isn't happy about this, and that would be my mom. She just believes I am not eating. Now, ever since I can remember, my mom has been a potato salad factory, producing a potato salad year-round by the metric ton. And ever since I can remember, my mom believes that I am not eating. Forget the fact that I'm still alive. We can't let the facts get in the way of a good narrative. Last December, I walked through their door in Michigan, and mom immediately begins her carb bombing campaign. There's potato salad in the fridge, she says. I put my suitcase down. Hey, my flight was great. Thanks for asking. Of course, now mom has a new weapon against my diet, cookies. And every few days she comes out of the back room carrying a giant Ziploc bags of chocolate chip cookies. I swear to God, I think she has a crew of Keebler elves that are chained to the wall doing nothing but producing cookies. Another part of my environment that I try to prime for is exercise. Now, I'm going stir crazy from being inside of the house so much. It is freezing cold outside, and I need to get out. I need to do something. So yesterday, I put on six layers of clothes to try to protect me from the freezing temperatures. I step out onto the front porch, and my feet fly out from underneath of me. Now, as I'm doing a wily e. Coyote in midair, I suddenly remember that freezing rain from the night before coated every single surface. Everything is slick. Everything is covered with ice course gravity takes over i fall down four steps of course the noise of my butt slamming against the steps can be heard clearly inside of the house now my mom she can't see but she believes whatever her imagination tells her and according to her imagination i'm laying at the bottom of the stairs a bag of broken dome bones and the worst part is i didn't eat any potato salad today that means i'm going to slowly die from starvation of course i'm just fine i pick up my broken ego off the steps and i start walking the quarter mile driveway I turn to the house. I see mom beelining for the fridge. Suddenly, I envision her throwing potato salad at my mouth, trying to keep me alive until the ambulance can navigate the ice-covered roads of Chicken Scratch, Michigan. I shake it all off. The cool air feels absolutely invigorating. I am definitely awake now. My nose sends an alert to my brain. It's frozen. But at least I'm moving, and I continue onto my second lap. My ears now send an alert to my brain. They are frozen. I don't care. I'm going on to my third lap. My ears send another alert to my brain. They now hurt. I come back inside. The warmth makes my skin tingle, but I feel better. At least I got some exercise. Maybe my body won't notice, but my mind will. Of course, there's mom coming from the back of the house carrying her 10th bag of cookies. There's potato salad in the fridge, she says. Yeah, save it for the Keebler elves, I reply. I am sure they're hungry by now. This has been Coffee with Cliff. Thank you for listening.